Hey guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a quick look at the new white Google Nexus 4 phone. So this is available in the Google Play Store for $299 or $349 in 8 or 16 gig capacities. Now I previously reviewed this one, it was available only in black. This actually debuted in October 2012, so the phone itself hasn't changed in any way. They've just added a new color variation. So as you can see here, I actually have the, the bumper on it. This is the bumper style case, which I've reviewed as well. And they do give you a white bumper included with your shipment of the Nexus 4, so you know, to pay extra to get that bumper case with the uh, white version of the Nexus 4. So there you go, that's the Nexus 4. Now you can also tell that the box is a bit different. So you have a gray box for the black phone and the white box for the white phone. On the back, same packaging as well, the best of Google. This is the true Google experience. You get all the great Google services. This also means that this phone will be updated to the latest and greatest versions of Android no matter what it is. So anytime it's updated, you'll get it. You don't have to worry about OEMs or cellular carriers to update this phone. This works on HSPA Plus networks like AT&T and T-Mobile in the USA. So still no 4G LTE with this phone, unfortunately. Uh, this is also still wireless, so you do have wireless charging as well. And uh, Google does sell an accessory, which I've also reviewed previously. So let's go ahead and push out the box to take a look at it. So again, this actually looks exactly like the box with the black version. So you can see, same story here. So let's go ahead and crack these tabs and take a look. All right, so let's just lift the lid to reveal our white Nexus 4. Well, it's not white on the front, but it is quite white on the back. So if you tip it over, there it is. So you have your white back panel, which is still glass, along with these white sides, which are plastic. Now, if you look, you can see we saw that sort of stippled pattern, just like on the black version. You can see it sort of picks up the light and sparkles. Very nice design and effect. Obviously, it looks best under direct lighting conditions, especially outside in the sunlight. There's also a piece of plastic covering this back panel here, so let me go ahead and peel this off. There you go. Now, there are some slight design differences here between this and the black version. They're very minor, but they make a big impact here. So the main thing here is that on the black version, we have this rubbery black plastic surrounding the phone. Now, on the white version, it's sort of a smoother, harder plastic material. So it's less grippable, but it also means it's more resistant to dirt and weathering. So I think that's important, particularly with white, because you don't want it to show off or hold on to stains, especially while you're holding this in your hand. So I think they made this material just more cleanable. So it's not going to stain as badly, but it doesn't have that grippable material of the black version. Now, there's also another slight design change here. So if you look at the white version, you have these little bumps here. At the edge of the bezel on the back of the phone, you can see those are not present on the black version. Uh, so you can see that maybe they did this to help protect the back glass, kind of give it a lay on table design. So basically these are the resting points for the back of the phone. So if you lay it on the table, it won't contact with the glass and hopefully cause less scratching. All right, so let me go ahead and peel this plastic off the front of the phone and we can take a close look at the design. Now from the front, you can see it pretty much looks like a black Nexus 4. There is no design distinction here at all. So the screen looks the same, the sensors are in the same spots, everything. Uh, if you flip it over, obviously there's a big difference there. Now if you look here, you can see we have our volume rocker along the side, our SIM tray here. This is a micro SIM, not a nano SIM. Our headphone jack, microphone. Along the side, we have our sleep wake button, also nicely trimmed out in chrome, along with the edge of the uh, bezel. So you can see the bezel surrounding the glass is also chrome. Along the bottom, we have our micro USB charging port, microphone, and we have these little screws at the bottom. Now, along the back, we'll find our 8 megapixel autofocusing camera capable of recording video at 1080p. We also have our LED flash just below that. Also that nice Nexus branding surrounded by all that sparkly glass, very nice looking. LG branding, and you can see we have our speaker grill back here. Now incidentally, that speaker grill is also painted to match the color of the phone. So we have the black speaker grill and the black phone white on the white phone. Now at the top we have our 1.3 megapixel camera, our earpiece, as well as our ambient light sensor and proximity sensor in the upper left corner, kind of hidden by the glass here. Down here, we have our on-screen Android controls. So you can see they're on screen. Uh, which means that it does take up some screen real estate. Again, that's pretty familiar for the Nexus experience. We also have our LED notification light toward the center of the bottom down here. Now the Nexus 4 is sporting a 4.7 inch LCD IPS display with a resolution of 768 by 1280, so no 1080p here. Uh, that's good for 360 pixels per inch or 316 pixels per inch, not 360. Uh, that's still well south of the 400 you're seeing with things like the HTC One or the GS4. 
Uh, but it's a really good looking display. I'm still a big fan of this display. Nice contrast, very vivid colors. It tends to be a little darker than a lot of LCD phones like the HTC One, uh, but it's still a nice high quality display. Uh, the internal specs are 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor. That's a Snapdragon processor and two gigs of RAM. So it's still a well specced out phone, although it's kind of in the mid range at this point with other phones sporting 1.9 gigahertz processors. Now briefly, let's go ahead and take a look at the contents of the packaging. So we have our Nexus Quick Start Guide. So we have our safety and warranty guide and quick start guide in multiple languages. We also have our micro USB charging cable, which unfortunately is still black, not white. And we also have our SIM ejection tool here. And we have our wall adapter for charging our phone. Now they've also included the white bumper case at no additional charge. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now the great thing about this bumper style case is that it preserves the look of the phone. So it protects the edges of the phone and provides a design similar to the phone along the edges. So you get this hard plastic along the edges. You get this white material along the side. You look really close. You can see it's kind of a textured material, which adds some grippability to the phone. So you can see we have that cutout for the USB port and the microphone as well as these duplicated controls for the, uh, the power sleep wake button as well as the volume rocker. And you can see if you look inside, we have these little nubs here which contact with the actual buttons on the phone. So overall, it feels pretty much like the same buttons on the phone. I also see those cutouts for the headphone jack and the microphone. It's easy to install. Just drop the phone in. And there you go. So you get a little more white coloring with that case as well. So you can see actually some white around the black edge of the phone. And again, it preserves the design of the phone while still allowing the glass back panel to shine through. And you can also see that it provides protection along the edges and a nice lay on table design. So if you lay this on the table, either front or back, it lifts the glass off the surface so you don't have to worry about scratching it. it provides impact protection along the side. So it's a nice thick rubbery material. Also nice rigid uh, frame around it to keep that rubbery material uh, fastened to the phone. So it feels nice and tight and secure. And overall, I really like the design of this case. Now initially I was a little disappointed by the white Nexus 4 because there is no white on the front like you get with a iPhone or a Galaxy S4. But I think that actually works in favor for this design. It hides all the cutouts for the camera and sensors. And with the Nexus phone, you have these on-screen controls which are surrounded by black. Now if you had a white bezel surrounding this, that would highlight that chunk of the screen set aside for those Nexus controls, which may not be an ideal situation. And on the back, you get this very nice glass back panel, high quality material with that nice etched pattern which really sparkles in the light, really takes advantage of the white coloring. I think it looks really sharp. So overall, big fan of the design of this phone. I'm a big fan of the, ga of the Nexus 4, not Galaxy, the Nexus 4. Uh, so definitely a nice phone. I do you wish it sported LTE, but otherwise it's a great phone and I'm a big fan of the Nexus experience because it runs very smooth and quickly and you get the latest updates and I really like the quality of the display.